everybody, Vaping Vinny here again. Welcome back to Vaping Vinny Reviews. Uh, tonight we're back with a hardware review for you folks. And it's another UK designed, UK manufactured mechanical mod called the Unknown Mod from Nameless Mods. There we are. Let's get a quick little look at that sexy tube. They sent me the copper version. Serial number 21, thank you very much for the purpose of this review. That will not, of course, affect my opinion of the review. Let's have a quick vape. Ah, oh, some power there, folks. Some cracking power there. Right, without further ado, um, I'll get down to the deck. We'll have a good look at this mechanical mod from Nameless Mods. Uh, then we'll come back up and I'll give you my final thoughts, pros and cons on the unknown mod from Nameless Mods. Okay folks, here is the packaging for the unknown mod by Nameless Mods. Um, nice little packaging, this is uh, Scotty. Alex, the designers, number 21 in copper um, website, some cracking Union Jacks on either end, and just some little bits there, and website again there. Let's open this beauty up. Okay, you get the website, you get Insta and Facebook. Some lovely little cards, battery safety, caring for your mod, and a COA, card of authenticity. With the logos on back, and all double sided, very handy, very good things to have. And there we are, there's the presentation it comes in. The nameless, and the button, we'll start there. Mine is a little bit worse for wear, it has been had quite a lot of use. Let me just get this to focus properly. There we are. On the logo, and while we're here, I'll have a quick look around the button. All the Delrin. Um, I'm currently using a two pound spring, they do or will be coming with a four pound spring also. Yeah, I quite like the two pound spring. I'll uh, explain a bit more about that shortly. I'll just undo this while we're here. Show you the button design. Let's just move that out of the way a second. Silver plated firing pin. All copper Dell ring insulator. Lovely buttery threads. Lovely machining. No sharp edges nice and clean nice big two pound spring springy and the firing nice knurling around the outside of the firing button and that button again itself couple of little breather holes get that to focus again there we are. obviously you can see mine's a tad scratch which will come across and I'll mention in my final thoughts. But a lovely design button. Uh, very easy. Very easy to maintain. And works exceptionally well. Put that back in together. Very straightforward button housing. Um, the mod works with 21700 cells, 2700 cells and pop the button down with the supplied sleeve 18650s but you all know me now I like my 30Ts no need for that bad boy and the tube itself it's a 28 millimeter in diameter tube which tapers down to 25 millimeters at the top there. It's a big old tube, 
but a lovely tube. It's very well made. There is the top cap, nameless mod co, batch one, number 21. Some internals, there's uh, no protection in here whatsoever. There's no peak insulators in there or anything down at the bottom. It's just a straight copper tube. So make sure you keep on top of your battery cell wraps at all times. Just show you the mod's name. There we are. Nameless. Obviously you've got some lovely engravings going around the top and the bottom. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely jubbly. Okay folks, it's time for the voltage drop tests. Here's my rewrapped 30 T. Let's see what juice we've got left in this. That's not right. Four volts. Four volts. Same battery going into the tube. Pause up. Let's see what we can get from this bad boy. Make sure I don't cover up the meter. 3.5. 3.52. So that's 0.4. 3.52 So about 0.4.5 of a voltage drop for the nameless mod for the unknown mod even by nameless mods Okay everybody we're back up top with the unknown mod by nameless mods UK designed and manufactured mechanical mod First things first Let's talk about that voltage drop test. Uh, that really, really surprised me. Um, I wasn't expecting a 0.5 to 0.6 voltage drop at all. Because this thing just seems to hit really, really well. I mean... point five, point six voltage drop? Don't know. I've just sat and tested and tested my voltmeter. There's nothing wrong with that. So I've got to stand by the results. That was on a resistance of a 0 0.01 coil, which are frame staples by Apocalyptic Coils. Danny, thank you very much for the coils. Anyway, screw the voltage drop. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Um, oh, that's punchy. Anyway, uh, yeah. I really, really, really don't get that because it doesn't feel like it's got that kind of drop. Um, and while I'm talking about cells, this thing just seems to get such longevity out of a 21700. Now, I was at work the other day. Um, I only get an hour's break during the day. And obviously, I vape like hell in the morning on my break. And then on my way home, and once I'm home, I vape like hell. I'll fully admit that I vape a lot. <laughs> Um, 121 700 cell from 7 o'clock in the morning uh, until about 9 o'clock at night with some quite substantial usage and it didn't kill the cell, I ended up changing it because I, 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 I was a bit freaked out if I'm honest by the cell, it just seemed to keep going and going and going and then I put it in the charger and it wasn't anywhere near flat um, so the voltage top test I don't really get uh, right, the mech. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful tube. Very simplistic on the design. Obviously, you've got the little crisscrosses at the top and the bottom. Burn Erling on the firing button. The firing button shot, which we've seen up close already. There we go again, upside down. Lovely jubbly. If slightly scratched. Um... Issues. Forget the voltage drop. It doesn't perform like a mech that's got that kind of voltage drop. Um, my biggest issue, which I know some people have had it, because I've seen it on their Facebook group, is the firing button protruding. 
Now most mech users stand the mechs on a hard surface like that when they're not using them. Now I've not actually had mine fire, that's mine stood on its end now, on the firing pin, and it's not firing. But I know some people that have the, the mechs have had it fire stood on it. There is also going to be a four pound spring which everyone who's got one of these already or will be getting one of these is going to get the four pound spring sent out. Problem solved with the firing issue which is a bit of a safety issue. Also if you stick it in your pocket it's a bit of an issue. So just bear in mind that there's no locking on this mech. There's no way of locking that off to stop it from firing with it being a protruding one. I don't like to have seen a locking feature and I believe the chaps at Nameless Mods are going to be fitting that on the next project. There will be a locking firing pin on that one, hopefully. Um, but I absolutely love this. It's a, It hits hard as hell. It really, really does. It's heavy. It's big. If you've got big hands, it's 28mm in diameter. There's a little bit of tapering just there. Which takes the top of the uh, 510 down to 25 mil, but then obviously it comes out and it's 28 mil. Um, it's heavy. It's really, really heavy. This is the copper one. Um, they do uh, a brass, and I think it's kind of a black heat-treated one as well, uh, and a murdered out. Now, they vary in price. Uh, Cloud Island have started stocking these beautiful mechs. Uh, the brass starts at about £180 from Cloud Island. And they go up to just over £200 for the murdered out black one. Which I believe is also a copper tube. Uh, the copper like this is £192. I suppose the big question is, would I purchase... That mechanical mod for myself. If I had seen it and held it in my hand, most definitely it is a solid, solid beast. It's very simplistic on the design, um, in a way, the, the, the engraving wise, anyway. It, it, it's quite a straightforward tube, but it's just really solid and screams quality. And it performs. It really delivers that power. I know what the voltage drop test says. I don't believe that, in a way. It's, it's kind of a bit weird. It's nowhere near as bad. I mean, if you see my Bonza, the Bonza mech check, that was nearly at 0 0.9. This is like half, nearly half of the voltage drop of the Bonza. It just it doesn't feel like that. I mean, I've got over 21700 mechs with a lower voltage drop. But, this doesn't feel like it's got that. I just don't... That result has baffled me completely. Completely baffled me. But, it's there. And it's. And I've checked it and I've checked it and I've covered that. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a mech that hits with a loss of power. Well, that's immense immense like I say it is a heavy mod it's solid it's I like it I, I actually really really like it um I won't want to use it too much because I, I won't want to get it any more scratched than it is because I hate getting my mech scratched absolutely hate it and I hate polishing so that's not me and I'm not going to wet sand any of them because I don't do that I just don't yeah maybe I'm not a good mech mod no. oh, I love my mech so <laughs> but yes, anyway, the unknown mod by Nameless Mods, would I have bought it? If I'd have seen it, I'd have wanted it. Um, luckily, the guys contacted me and reached out to me, and I was very, very, very happy to uh, agree to review this item. And I have to say, it is a damn fine mechanical mod. It is heavy. It is solid. And it's just... It hits. I don't care what that says. I just don't care. 0 0.5, 0 0.6 is not that bad. Really, in the scheme of things. I 
And it just, yeah, I don't, yeah. So would I buy this Mac? Yes. Would I say if you're looking at a £200-ish rough mount to buy this Mac? Yeah. That is up to you. Because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, been like, it'd be nice to have seen a bit more engraving, but obviously they've got the name on it more pronounced on the tube. And it's the company name and not the actual name of the Mac. But, yeah, quality-wise, you can't knock it. Like I say, it's heavy. It's solid. It's a good, dependable, UK-designed and manufactured mechanical mod. Um, they will be at Expo UK in May. Check them out. Check this beast out. Get one in your hands and just feel the quality and the weight to it. Because it's hefty. It's really hefty. I'm an hefty fella, and this is hefty in my big hands. I used to do some cloud comps many moons ago. I'd quite fancy having a go at one of them with this. Anyway, there you go, folks. The Unknown Mod by Nameless Mods. A vaping Vinny awesome mech, I think. That it's uh, it's a beauty, and I just I, I I love the solidness of it, the simplicity, and the button design. I, the button design, whoa, that I really like. That it's just so well thought out, so cleanly made. With threads like butter, the threads are just excellent. I'm, I'm, I'm sat here playing with the threads. Can't knock them. Have a look, folks. Go see what you think. Drop some messages on here, some comments. Like the review. Let's have a bit of feedback off it and see what you people think. I think it's a beast. I really, really do. It's a big, meaty, strong, mechanical mod. Wow. That's it, folks. Drop comments, like I said. Like the review. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come join the mech revolution. <laughs> uh, I'll be back very soon with some more hardware reviews for V-Zone. V-Zone, I've got the Preco kit. I've got the V-Lit kit. And some more Am Armageddon. Not Armageddon anymore. Immortal Mods reviews coming up very soon of the Siege and some of the new Apox. Keep your eyes open, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again very, very soon. Goodbye, my lovelies.